Well, uh, I love to be in nature. I think first and foremost, I love anytime I can be outside. I like to be outside and, uh, and go hiking. Just like I recently moved to Northwest Indiana. So I get to sit on the, the beach out of Lake Michigan. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Much like that one right there, minus fire. And I don't know if that's a little like a drink or something with a flower, but, um, and I love uh, cats. <laughs> that's one of my talking points is cats. So I, I have three cats right now and absolutely adore them. Um, they, they live in Minnesota where I frequently visit and I usually stay in Minnesota with my parents over the summer. Um, and we live in a rural area. So I get to sit in my backyard, which has lots of trees and, and nature. So I, I love to watch nature. Um, and I also love, love, love rollerblading and like and listening to music, music, rollerblading and dancing, things like that. And also sports. So um, I usually play like community volleyball, that type of thing. So I mostly just play games. Um, I, <laughs> I play a lot of video games right now, pre-pandemic. I was playing a lot of tabletop games, board games and stuff. Um, there used to be this, like, two meetups that I would go to each week to play board games at uh, local um, board game cafes that we have here in Seattle. Um, yeah, and then since the pandemic, I've sort of moved or s- continued, I don't know, um, heightened my enjoyment of video games. Um, and... Uh, I have been playing video games basically my whole life um, since, I don't know, since grade school. Um, computer games my whole life. So I, I never really owned very many consoles. Um, so I was m- mostly playing computer games. So like strategy games like Civ and stuff like that or XCOM or um, adventure games like the old LucasArts games and everything. And I'm really excited about Return to Monkey Island, which is going to come out later this year. Um and all this is like now super esoteric for anyone who uh, doesn't know what the hell I'm talking about. So <laughs> uh, there's a friend of mine from um, when I used to work at OMSI and we would play cooperative games together. And we've been doing this uh, for over 20 years now. Like, What does cooperative games mean? So we would play online games together, but we wouldn't play against each other. We would play together. Oh, against, right. Okay. okay. Um, usually against uh, the term co-op usually means you're playing uh, against uh, computer controlled um, oh, yeah. AI. So like whether it's a shooter game where we're, where we're, you know, fighting monsters or whatever, um, or if it's like a strategy game where we're, you know, in control of I don't know a nation or something like that, and we're we're battling other nations or something, um, or it's just like an adventure game, um, like it takes two, where we're just sort of like running around different levels and trying to get through the levels and stuff. Um, we usually play those types of games, co-op, co-op games together, um, and you know over the twenty years there've been um, a lot of them, but not that many. <laughs> Like there've been a lot of them because it's been 20 years, but, um, but they are very rare compared to um, normally when you have a multiplayer game, you have players fighting against other players. Mm-hmm. That's and we just never were interested in that type of gaming. Like we, I think one of the draw for us is, is stories um, in the games that we're playing. And so a, a, constant fight basically between players like a battle arena game or like a a team versus team game um just isn't interesting because it's just there's no end to it you know um you know you win one match and then you just play another match um whereas the games we play usually have like there's a story that we're following we're trying to get from point a to point b Mm -hmm. either narrative wise or like literally a point to another point in the game or something like that you know um and those those we find much more compelling than than uh, like we're not we're not playing them to dominate, um, you know our enemies or whatever we're playing them to, uh, for some sort of heroic goal. Usually, you know, 